So you want to become a penetration tester. You are new, full of motivation and trying to learn new stuff. But for whatever reason, it's hard. You're stuck and you don't know what the problem is. Well, in that video, I'm going to explain what the problem is. You know, when it comes to penetration testing, all we think about is this fancy Hollywood style hacking where we smash the keyboard and suddenly we get access to a specific system. We compromise or hack some system, which is pretty much word that I do not pretty much like. But we need to take a deep look under the hood and what is a penetration testing and why it's hard to start. Now, the core theory behind that is we are trying to find as much as possible vulnerabilities and prove them that they are right and they are there. You know, when doing penetration tests, your aim is to find as many vulnerabilities as possible and to see and validate their presence. However, on theory, it sounds easy, but trust me, it's not. And why it's not easy? Because you need to be skilled or at least have some kind of a ground with a lot of fields in order to become good at finding vulnerabilities. You know, vulnerabilities on their core are just code-based. Most of the vulnerabilities in our digital world are designed for the code. The operation system you're using, the web browser you're using, the OBS software I'm using to record this video, all of that is code. Some code that some guy written somewhere. And essentially, most of the vulnerabilities are inside this code base. Now, there are also different kinds of vulnerabilities, such as user errors or user misconfigurations and stuff like that. But most of the times, vulnerabilities are based on code. And essentially, since the vulnerabilities are based on code, and our main job is to find as many of them as possible, it is the most logical thing to do is to actually learn a little bit of coding. So in order to become a good penetration tester, we must know at least, guys, at least how to read code, how the code generally works, what's the workflow, and what are different kinds of programming languages. And then we might try to be better. And, and then after we learn all that kind of stuff, then this can boost our vulnerability searching part. Because now we know, aha, uh -huh, that works this way, and that works the other way, and that should work like that, but it's not, then it must be vulnerable. Now, coding is one thing. That's super important, and you cannot be good penetration tester without the proper coding in your system, in your skill set. How to become better with coding? I can try and suggest to start with the uh, basics of coding. Start coding normal application, start do some kind of a coding exercises just to learn how the code works and then move on into exploit reading, try to read other people's exploits and hacks, try to develop something like that or try to create some kind of offensive tools. Each of the coding experience, no matter what it is, helps you become a better penetration tester. Now, beside the coding, we have a few more aspects we need to talk about. I am pausing the video just to say massive, massive thanks to all of my patrons. Thank you so much, guys. If you also have further appreciation to my work, don't hesitate and become a patron. There, you're going to get access to a lot of projects I was working on, including Shadowborn, my private packer, currently evading most known EDRs. Also, you're going to get access to Haunt, my mythic C2 agent based on PowerShell, alongside with other videos specifically designed for only Patreons. Thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. And now, let's move on. And one of the aspects is the networking. And now here, we need to do network. Why network? Well, because if you need to do hacking, and if you are doing hacking, you are most of the times connecting to some kind of machines. This can be for a web server, web application. This can be over an internal network via VPN. It can be via the cloud or anything else like that. You need to know how the network works, guys. The network is designed to connect several machines on specific protocols bound by specific ports. For example, if I want to navigate a web application, then I need to use the specific IP or DNS and then use the specific port for the web application. Without that, how am I how I'm supposed to hack when I do not know how to connect to a specific machine? So in order to understand how specific connections are being made, how your machine communicates to other machines, how your payloads are being sent over the network, and how you can receive incoming connections, such as reverse shells, downloading files, and other useful things, you must know networking. 
Now, I'm not saying that you need to enroll for specific network certification. Me, myself, I do not have them because they are way too advanced for the for the our basic needs. But what I can say, guys, is to spend some time learning networks. Learn how switches works, routers, firewalls, what are they, IDS, IPS, all the things like that matter. And then also try to create some kind of a network in your environment. If you have, a, for example, a virtual machine or a big PC with a lot of resources, you can try and simulate specific networks. You can create multiple networks, connect with them, set up firewall, set up firewall rules, and see how the network works. Maybe engage with the proxy. And all of these things can, again, make you become a better penetration tester. No doubt. And the last thing I want to speak about is system administration. Why? Because either way, you are using uh, some kind of operation system, unless you're doing physical pen test. And also the targeted machines or targeted networks are also using some kind of operation systems. This can be all the Windows distributions. There are times where I still see Windows 7 being active on production environment. This can be also something like a Linux boxes, a Mac OS machines, and anything in between. So learning how the operational system works, learning how it behaves, and how potentially it can be used for many third-party purposes, like establishing persistence, like doing lateral movement, or simply analyzing what's on the file system, this requires sysadmin skills. And if you combine sysadmin skills, networking skills, and coding, then you know a lot of stuff, guys. Do not underestimate that. If you know how the general coding works, you can read any script, any library that's on the internet, and you can understand how it works and potentially implement that in your weaponry. If you know sysadmin skills, you can work completely without a problem with any operational system out there. So no matter if you get a reverse shell for a Linux system or a Windows system, you can completely be fine, work with it, establish persistence, search for lateral movements, search for credentials, and pretty much do your job, because since you know how to use these kind of systems, it's going to be easy peasy for you. And then if you know how to communicate with specific systems, how, how to establish tunnels, how to work with the proxy, how to know, to know how the networks are working in general, so you can perform firewall evasion, IDS evasion, IPS evasion, and stuff like that, then you can become good at penetration testing. So my advice is, it's super simple. If you are struggling with penetration testing, if you are new and want to learn penetration testing, do not focus that much on the pen testing itself for now, but build a strong core. And on that strong core, which is coding, sysadmin, and networking, then you can build the structure up and become a better penetration tester. Because with pen testing, no matter what you do, you are always getting involved into these kind of things. You're always going to use some kind of a code. You're always going to work with some operational systems. And you're always going to perform some kind of a network traffic, no matter if it's internal or via web or anything else. So if you are struggling with pen testing, take time and dedicate it for yourself to learn better sysadmin skills, better networking skills, and better coding skills. When you have these three pillars, the penetration testing is going to be much, much easier. And yeah, I know. I know it's huge materials. I know it's deep ocean and it never ends. But that's the whole point, right? We don't do that just because to become a penetration tester, but because that's something we love. So dedicate time, become better, coder, sysadmin, or network operator. And then you can see by automation, by definition, you're going to become better penetration tester. That was it for today, and I really hope this video was useful. If that was the case, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. This way, you help me a lot. This channel is entirely designed to teach penetration testing, red teaming, offensive coding, and all the related stuff. So if you find it valuable, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you so much, and moving on.